Hey guys, it's Ewan with the Air Zoo. Since our last major update, our FM2 Wildcat has gone through a lot of changes. The aircraft has received its paint job and insignia. Shortly after, the team installed the aircraft stub wings and began installing the canopy. Then, on an afternoon where I was told that there was nothing exciting happening, the team installed the starboard wing. So let's join Phil as he discusses the process of installing the port side wing. Oh, this is a big day. It's really a big day. We're gonna put the wing on here. We'll have a forklift, we'll have the wing here, we'll lift it up, and then it has to go in these, those has to line up with the wings, and then, and then you just push it in. Piece of cake, right? No, it took us a couple hours to do the left wing. It's getting it all lined up and put in place is what takes time. And it's just a, a lot of patience, which why they're gonna send me away. I don't, I'm not long on patience. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, and, and, and teamwork, really. It's really important. So there'll be, a, there'll be a guy on top watching the alignment of these holes and these holes and, and, and there'll be a couple, three of us down here on the bottom. And we'll be working this end of the wing and then the wing will stick out that way with the forklift. The forklift will come in straight on to the end of the wing, pretty much, pretty much. But we'll be able to move things around a little. Uh, so, but safety's first. People first and then the equipment, the, the wing and the airplane second. So, but this is what it looks like when, when it's all done. And boy, it, come, it really comes off really well. It just, it just, look at that. Isn't that neat? That is cuter than a speckled pup. I'm telling you what. And these, these wings were so efficient because instead of going up like this, which could get the airplane in the hangar bay of the, of the carriers, okay, they went alongside and they really could stack them up real tight. And the Navy loved the design. I think they used it on the Hellcat as well. Um, they, could, they could bring in a lot of airplanes and just put the wings back and stack them in, land more airplanes. So they were, it was really an efficient design that, uh, that Grumman worked. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, so that wing there is going on over there. Before the action, our volunteers prepared themselves for the task ahead, taking on needed coffee and discussing who was going to do what. The team also got the needed tools ready, just in case the wing needed a little persuasion to fit. Installing a Wildcat wing is a little difficult. The beautiful Grumman wing folding mechanism means that installation has to happen at an awkward elevated angle. We'll have our forklift raise the wing and volunteers to help guide it into position. With the team ready to go, they raise the wing off the table and begin the installation. In this orchestra of volunteers, machinery and aircraft, Phil is the conductor, issuing instructions to the team. And here's the challenge, aligning everything correctly so we can place the pins. It seems simple, but the angle makes it awkward to achieve. As a restoration project, there's also the chance that damage this aircraft sustained during its accident has made things slightly misaligned, so some persuasion might be needed. Dave, can you do another half inch and that shift a little bit that way too? 
With things almost aligned, Kevin, who's on top of the wing, was able to partially place the bottom pin. Here he is trying to fit the top pin, which also needs a little persuasion. With the top pin in, the lower pin receives some persuasion to get it into place. Guys, wiggle! No, you don't need to wiggle. Just, just keep it down. Grab all the slope, Kevin. Get about a I demand more coffee. <laughs> you got it in? Like it's in. Yeah, wait a minute, we want to go with the upper one. It's in. We're in. We're done. We're in. Job done. And there it is. Our Wildcat restoration now has both of its wings. Our Wildcat is expected to leave us in early June to its new home at the American Heritage Museum near Boston. So make sure you visit the Air Zoo before then to see it and say farewell.